Hey, ah, shit, pocket sand! Jesus, uh, Jesus fucking Christ, dude, it's me, it's me! Oh. Hey. Where'd Zanky go? I honest, I honestly don't know. Anyways. It's that time again. What time? Adventure time! It's Afghan time, baby! Oh, uh, yeah, I, I know. I, I got the email. I was like, please never do that again, you... Jesus fucking Christ. Oh. Okay, um... I thought you were gonna have, like, some reaction that would, like, transition into the introduction, but, like... Are you not gonna have a cool intro like last time? Okay, well, I, I had something in mind, but, um... I used to borrow the song licensing budget on the Melbourne video, so, uh... Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty tight on money for, um... For, uh, this video, so, uh... Yeah. Okay, um... I guess I'll let you cook with this intro, then. <laughs> Hello there, my name is Chunk, name you can call me Chunked, and welcome to Chunk Does, where I do random things in public. Sorry for the gap in between videos, uh, the Melbourne one took, like, way too much more time than I thought. Also, um, this, uh, this recording, this, this take of the video, it's actually the second take because my PC shit itself, which meant that I lost all of my recordings, and, yeah. So, some inflections in this part won't be as good as what you think they would be because you know slightly a bit like a bit less motivated because yeah also um may sound a bit different because some um, stuff going on uh yeah give it like a give it like a year but enough of that this is the third episode of the series and let's do it again one more time today we have full access to Avcon, a convention that's based on anime video games and pretty much everything pop culture related this year the conventions moved from the Adelaide Convention Center to the Adelaide Showgrounds. This year's also got a new theme, where the theme is all about sports with there being four teams to choose from, with the entire convention based on which team comes out on top. Now enough stalling, let's start off with Day Zero. Okay, um, ironically, I think I recorded more about Day Zero than Day 1 and 2. Shit. Okay, well, um... I guess I'll try and talk about each day equally. So, same thing as, you know, Chunk Tenseki do Melbourne. Occasional, like, black spots with, like, random images. After being stuck at the entrance of the showgrounds because I didn't know where the badges were being handed out, where the fuck do I go? Legitimately, where the fuck do I go? What the hell? I ended up finding my way in after asking someone who put me in the right direction. Hey, uh, sorry. I was just wondering where to get, uh, grab my badge. Avcon? Yeah, Avcon, yeah. Just right in the front here. Yep. Alright, yep, hey, uh, just pick up my, uh, media badge. Uh, name? Uh, and I'm um, under chunk name. Yep. yep, thank you. Hell yeah. Alright, here we go again. Once I got my badge, I decided to just go immediately into the city to just try and find something to do the pasta time because, I mean, honestly, at the time I was, like, pretty bored. So I just walked around going into random shops that just piqued my interest. Boy, well, what a, what a nice day. I hope to God that it doesn't rain really heavily hope it hope hope that doesn't happen oh 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 you know what i feel like they probably would have it here yep they do uh, after walking around a bit i suddenly had a brainwave an urge an itch that i needed to scratch <sighs> Much better. But this was a different itch. It made me want to get up and move. And I just knew what had to be done. We back at it again. We're here at fucking, uh... Holy oh moly. Yup, I play DDR. Um, actually, it's the maniacs. Sh shut, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. These guys can't tell the difference. Shut the fuck up. <clears throat> Anyways, I played some DDR. <laughs> shit. I ran out of money on my arcade card in mere minutes. Welp. With nothing else to do to pass the time, I went into a museum, and then I just looked around for a bit, just doing dumb shit like- Me, me when, me, me, me when- Looking at this thing reminds me of something. 
Like a very, very faintly reminds me of something. I, I don't know what it is, but yeah. It's actually been a couple years since I've been in this museum. So I completely forgot that I was walking into this really weird box, only to look down and, oh, that's a giant squid. Oh. What was weird to me wasn't the giant squid. It was the text that was printed on the walls. The first mention of a giant squid. First scientific record. The Kraken. The Kraken. Moby Dick. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Giant squid. JJ, no. Okay, so, um, after whatever the fuck that was, I got done with looking at the stuff in the museum, and I was about to l Fuck, I jinxed it. Oh god, I fucking jinxed it. I fucking jinxed it. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, you probably know the drill by now. I had to run and find somewhere to stay dry in. Then I remembered some words that echoed in my head. Timzone. Tim I've never talked about what Timzone is properly. You may have seen mentions in like Vile and stuff like that, but Timzone is a space that just has a bunch of rhythm games. Since Avcom was happening, the space wasn't as lively as it usually is, so it was more laid back and relaxing. Oh yeah, shit, the opening ceremony was happening at the time. Oh shit. Eh, I'd rather play rhythm games. Look, I know that I was supposed to be filming the entire event, but... I mean, why would I take the time to travel back to the showgrounds and then watch an opening ceremony with a... marching band, cheerleaders, and... whatever the hell else was there? And not stay and play rhythm games. So... Uh... Yeah, I stayed back to play more rhythm games. It's kind of a given at this point. Anything rhythm game related, I'm going to stay there. And after staying there for about six hours... I finally left and went home, to prepare for what I was about to do for day one. Jesus Christ, already? So, uh, yeah, it rained straight away, and there was a long ass line out of the building. Oh, I am so utterly fucked. Um, uh, I waited in this line for quite a bit, until I found out that I could have just walked in because people with badges didn't need to go in line. Could have told me that before I waited in line for 10 to 15 minutes. So apparently I could have made it in this entire time because I already had a badge. Well, wow, fuck this. So once I walked in, I immediately went and tried finding rhythm games, but not before passing through the crowd of people. And yes, there was a lot of people. And what I found was, oh, actual rhythm games. So let me talk about the lineup. So there was Nostalgia, a rhythm game that is Pretty much an entire piano. PewDiePie compared it to being an adult baby. Somehow doing it on what replicates a piano made me feel like an adult baby just like mashing buttons. I hated this game. Uh, he's sorta of right, but the game's still fun. Sound Voltex, which is a rhythm game where you have six buttons and two knobs. And then there's Waka, which looks like a giant ass jet turbine. Here's a quick little montage of what I did. Okay, after spending like way too much time on the rhythm games, I found some people who you might know. I found Bottle, who is famously known for that one sound that she made. Oh, 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 oh. What? I found JJ, who is best known for. Three, two, one. JJ, no. Yan, who joined in with me last Afcon, and he also uh he also said that one thing. What kind of fucking murderous bastard goes sock shoe sock shoe? Bean who you'll know from. Yeah, Chung, I'm gonna go into a subway and scream my lungs out. Oh my fucking god, why? Oracle, who joined in with the creation of- Guys, I'm hungry. Guys, I'm hungry. <laughs> no. <laughs> and someone who I haven't introduced, this is Zygo, or Zai for short. He runs the arcade and is a good friend of mine. And yes, that means that all three of these cabs are owned by him. So after a bit, my camera died and the event only just started. Honestly, it was like no big deal because I had my phone at the ready. Bean gave me cat ears, which I will not talk about, and then I decided to walk around a bit more to see what they had. Okay, now during this bit, um, didn't take too much footage in this section, so um, there's probably gonna be some footage from last year and also some footage from- it's either footage from last year or um, like still photos. They brought back the giant Game & Watch from last year, this time with the laptop not hanging out. They also brought back the PS2 Taiko, which I was never able to play because it was always busy. There was a Virtual Boy, that's all I'm gonna mention about the Virtual Boy. And as I continued walking around, there was a small, tiny, tiny little uh, idol group that was performing at the main stage. I don't know if you guys know them, they're, uh, but they're called Fucking Baby Beard. To be completely honest, I didn't 
I didn't watch their performance because like I wasn't too interested, but I mean it sounded cool from afar. And so, I continued walking around and... Oh Jesus Christ! So apparently there was a giant Rush cosplayer and Josh Dub was there. There was also a challenge that they pasted at the back of the giant Brush cosplayer. Bring me a sausage roll and receive $100. Now, you may be asking, Chunked, are you going to get a sausage roll for $100 for content? Who the fuck do you take me for? I'm not gonna take time and effort out of my day just to get $100. I, I took time out of my day to get $100. I did it, but then I headed back to give up the sausage rolls and I was too late. Yo, we got sausage rolls. Fuck. And I was down seven dollars. So much for that then. Now with uh, two sausage rolls in my hand and uh, absolutely nothing to do with them, I decided to give them up to someone who needed it. That person was I. Dude was working the entire time and he didn't have lunch yet, so I just gave him to him. He deserved it. Managing that entire space must have been tiring. While I was hanging around the arcade for the millionth time, there was apparently a meet and greet going on with another small content creator. Uh, you guys might know them. They're called uh, Doki Bird. Yeah, needless to say, I was passing up on all the cool meetups that were happening. Then again, hearing from my friends who were there, uh, so, how long were the lines again? I hate the Doki Bird line. I hate the Baby Bird line. They're all terrible. After doing my, like, millionth set of Voltex, uh, there was a little, um, little thing that caught my eye in the corner. It was a little prize game in the corner called, uh, Barber Cut, and there were Pokemon cards in there. And, welp. If you guys have watched this channel enough, you guys already know the motto of redemption and gambling. So after me doing like almost absolutely nothing, um, day one already wrapped up, and I had to go home and get ready for day two. There was Avcon After Dark, which ran until like 10pm and was entirely 18+, plus, but um, you know, yeah. It sucked too because they were playing Jackbox! I could have drawn a crudely drawn horse! Ah! During day two, I honestly didn't know what to do. I was completely clueless. What, was I gonna get scammed by a big YouTuber again? Maybe. Was I gonna play rhythm games again? Perhaps. Was I not gonna attend all the meet and greets? Yes. So I pretty much just stayed in the arcade while a bunch of fun stuff happened. For example, anime screenings of shows like Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift, and etc. Meet and greets with the aforementioned Doki Bird and Baby Beard. A ton of workshops for stuff like gunpla building and cosplay posing. And yeah, that's pretty much all the things I missed out on and didn't record, so bleh. Anyways, back to me, disgraced god by playing more rhythm games. Passed by the maid cafe that I was too scared to go into because I'm an irrational fear of maids. This this is obviously a joke, but yeah, ob obviously, yeah, de def definitely a joke. De definitely, de definitely a joke. Looked around the artist alley to find something cool to buy, which I didn't, probably because I was too overwhelmed and yeah, pretty much just chilled around the arcade more. Played some Beat Saber, there wasn't a tournament this time, so no chips and candy this year. And played some more Sound Voltex. Oracle and I went back to the Barber Cut Machine, which now had a Miku figure with a slightly cut string. And with some slightly cut strings, you already know what we were about to do. 90% of- okay, yeah, you, yeah, you get the gist already. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Yeah! Hey! Nice job, holy shit! Oracle was the one who did all the heavy work, so obviously he took the Miku figure. And while we were doing that, we accidentally missed the closing ceremony. That uh, was quick. Though later on I did find out which team won. It was yellow. Congrats to them. Uh, I wasn't actually able to pick my team because of uh, media, so yeah. By the time that I did hear about that and went to the main stage, the auctions were about to happen, but out of nowhere, I get a DM from JJ. Come to the arcade. So, I ran back to see what all the hubbub was all about. Hu hubbub? Hu what the fuck? Hubbub? Why the fuck did I use hubbub? Chunked, what the fuck? And it turns out that Doggy Bird went to the arcade and talked to JJ and Zai, and by the time that I came back, she was gone. The one time that I leave the arcade, something interesting happens. And so much for that then! So, I just stayed at the arcade just in case something else interesting happened. Completely missing the auctions. I swear it was probably just my FOMO kicking in, but yeah, they sold a trophy for three thousand five hundred dollars. Okay, expected. 
They apparently auctioned a stick for $400 for a stick? And then they sold a set of all the pasas, plus a black pass for uh, $1,400. And after the auctions ended, I gathered a couple friends to do one thing. Play Bad Apple in all three of the rhythm game tabs. And just like that, AFCON was over. And I was finally done with whatever the fuck I was doing during this convention. Um, I don't have enough photos for a chunk dice montage like last time, so uh, here. Yeah, just, just have all the photos. Just have all the photos just randomly lying here. To wrap up this entire weekend, we took a train back to the city and grabbed some food. Thankfully, there was no weird stain on the floor like last time. Then, we were just gonna go home and- Psych, we play more Step Maniacs! Oh yeah, and I also did this. So, after we were done at the arcade, finally, AFCON was over. Shout out to the AFCON team for giving me permission to record again. I honestly wish I had more footage. What I captured just didn't do it justice. This event was a mix of emotions, but I would be lying if I said it wasn't fun. Also, uh, another another year, another um time of me asking to uh, host the auctions. Anyways, I think that's where I'm going to end it today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. And as always, that's all for today. And I'll see you all sometime soon. Later.